This is going to be an installation of a third generation Nest thermostat to a Goodman two stage heating and one stage cooling um, furnace as well as a whole home humidifier. So this is going to be an unboxing and an installation video. Nice box, feels solid. So, let's see what's in here. Okay, so I've never actually saw one of these, but it feels like it has some weight to it. Nice little shine. USB connectors there. Sensors. Okay. Package, package. So this is just a good, I guess, installation guide. Then you have the face um, back plate. Back plate. So you have the Y which is cooling, G fan, R is power, W is heating, W2 is heating 2 for stage 2, C is common, and the star is going to be used for a humidifier. Tools, two screws, and back plate. I will be using this because I don't want to fix my wall. And some more screws. So everything here is that I need. And I'll show you my current thermostat. So this is my current thermostat. It's like a Lux. This thing's at least 10 years old. Um, removed by the bottom. As you can see, I have G, Y, W, and R, H. Now my wires are with, come with, um, I have, actually have six wires total behind here, so I will connect the common and then use the other one for humidifier. I'll show you how I do that. I'll be using the supplied mark, uh, stickers to, uh, um, Label these particular wires so that I don't have to search for them by the furnace area. So this comes in your booklet. And you can see that my my current thermostat is bigger and there's like a yellow wall behind it. So I will be using the faceplate until I have some time to actually um, fix this wall. So I have labeled my uh, wires with the required stickers. So these four main wires, and I'm gonna have two more for common and humidifier. I'm also going to use this Nest provided uh, screwdriver to remove all these connections. Now, before you actually do this, make sure you turn the power off to your furnace. So this is my uh, thermostat removed. As you can see, it, there was a, there were at least one, two, at least three layers of paint here before this was actually fixed. Um, I have these two big wires. Now this is not common for most homes, but uh, this home has two um, big wires with six, two big cables with six wires each. I'm gonna use one of these for common and one of these for humidifier. And I'll show you that downstairs at the furnace area. And this face plate should cover this fine. You can see it's, it's gonna go over and why it is good as well. Okay, so I've decided that um, I'm going to make my second green wire um, W. 
2 for heating stage 2 and my uh, white wire second uh, second white wire for humidity so I've installed the face plate I'm going to align it with the bubble and then install these two screws and it should cover it nicely as you can see I got no ugly wall okay the face plate is installed with a perfectly level bubble now I have to put my wires into their holes I might have to uh, trim them a bit or make them a bit smaller because these holes are a bit small but I should be okay okay so I'm going to make my last connection but as you can see I've connected the Y which is the AC G which is the fan control W1 for stage 1 cool uh, heating W2 for stage 2, two heating RH for power and my last one is humidity which is going to go into the star now I thought I have a uh, extra wire for C but I don't and apparently this um, thermostat works fine without um, the common wire I should say something here Okay, this is my furnace. It's a Goodman 96% efficiency furnace, um, two-stage heating. These are the two wires from upstairs, cables from upstairs that hold my um, signaling for the furnace control board, which is down here. This is my uh, whole home humidifier. And you can see this is a sensor for the humidity. Now. Since I'm going to be controlling the humidity with the nest, I'm going to make this full full. So it's maximum. This is always on. And the connections to it come to here, which these are in series connected to there. And they go back to the furnace through here. Now I'll take, I'll take these two covers off and I'll show you the inside. Okay, these are the, the two covers off, and as you can see, I've connected my uh, my humidity from upstairs, goes to humidity in on the motherboard, and humidity out goes to the white cable for the thermostat, which creates a circuit, and it goes back to common. Um, the power the power is controlled th through the nest, which also monitors the humidity level as I disabled as I set the maximum humidity for this um, sensor to be max so that I can control the actual humidity using the, the nest um, one final thing I have to do is set the dip switch here to on so that the motherboard knows that the thermostat upstairs can control stage 2 heating so just to finalize, this motherboard also controls um, when the humidifier is set, uh, can be turned on and so does the nest. So they both have to be on for the humidifier to actually turn on. Okay, I have the nest. I've never actually turned it on yet or plugged it in. Let's see how this clicks in. There we go. Some light flashing. And it's turning on. There's actually a home sign there, but the. Okay, so this is, I guess, the intro for it. Sorry about the focus, it should focus by itself. There we go. So, English US. Kind of 
confirm internet connection so I will um, configure this stuff when I get to here I'll come back and record so I've connected to the internet it's um, getting the latest updates but it looks nice and uh, sleek I like it nice uh, sharp display So I've configured my location. The Nest also did, uh, I guess, two updates. It restarted twice, and it's asking me if I'm a pro. I'm gonna say yes. I'm still gonna continue. Let's skip this step. So. I'm gonna go through the setup to see what options I have. Okay, so I have um, the option for humidifier here. I will go and select um, humidifier, that's correct. Humidifier plus heat, so it activates when there's a heat coming to it. And fan and continue. So as you can see, I have um, fan, cooling, Y1, heat gas, one, heat gas, two, humidifier plus heat, activate fan, and power. Okay, I'm testing my humidifier. I've tested my um, stage one and stage two heating. The fan is working and blowing fine. And, um, I want to test my, since I've actually tested the stage 1 and stage 2 heating, the humidifier motherboard already knows it's hot enough for, for it to turn on the humidifier. So I'm, you can probably see in there there's a flame, there's three flames, and um, the humidifier is running as you can see, there's a sound coming from the solenoid. There's water leaking slowly. And any extra water gets pumped out. So I've, I've uh, installed and configured my nest. I've set the humidity. Currently the house is uh, has 23 degrees. Outside it's 8 degrees. It's Monday, 3.10, and the humidity is 55%. So all in all, um, the connection was easy, the setup was easy. Just keep in mind to set your uh, humidifier to its maximum on its sensor downstairs so that uh, nest, the nest can control the humidity in the house. And I uh, hope this was uh, educational, informative, and enjoy your nest.